ídolo. Welcome back, Team Forever. Back again on another video. I have to say that because that's my intro, but I doubt any of my subscribers are actually watching this video. If y'all are already a subscriber to me and y'all are watching this video, leave it in the comments down below. But I'm almost sure every com every view that I get on this video is probably going to be from some outsiders that are not subscribers to my channel because whenever I do wrestling videos, they literally get no views. Like, they don't get any at all. They get, like, zero. So, I'm doing this just because I want to. I don't know if it's going to get any views at all. So, yeah. But if you are watching this and you're a wrestling fan, be sure to check out some of my old videos that I've done on wrestling. I, it might have a playlist. Uh, the video probably has zero views. It's not because it's private. I swear it's just there and no one watches it. So go check those out. But anyway, I am here to talk about AEW, All Elite Wrestling. And more so, they're double or nothing. I didn't see all in. Um, but I did see Double or Nothing. My whole thoughts on not just the show, but on AEW in general. Let's put this over here. You're in my, you're in my shot. Anyway, so honestly, I did not think that Cody Rhodes, out of every wrestler that been released or asked for their release from WWE. You know, when he was on the indies just wrestling, I didn't even think that he was all that great. Like, I thought he was, like, to me, talented and good, but I didn't think he was, like, main event, like, winning world championship, like, that good. I didn't watch his Ring of Honor run. So I'm just going off of what I've seen him do in WWE. That's it. So when I was hearing that he was doing all these things, main event and winning world championships, he had his wife with them. They were cutting really good promos. He had joined the Bullet Club, or did he join the Bullet Club? All Elite, you know, some, all that stuff. It took me by surprise. I was like shocked. I didn't know all this was going on, especially with Cody Rhodes, because like I said, I just, I never saw him as that person. But, you know, big ups to him. Young Bucks, I uh, always liked them, ring-wise and everything else-wise. At one point, I kind of stopped liking the Young Bucks for a minute because I thought they were too cocky, because I saw them inside of an interview where, or multiple interviews, where they could just be themselves and I just thought they were kind of cocky and I didn't like that. I don't really like cocky people, but I do like the Young Bucks still. I met them inside Ring of Honor for one event after I had already disliked them and then I had started liking them again and they were super nice at that event, like super duper nice. They even like took my phone and made a Snapchat and all that stuff. So I love the Young Bucks. And Kenny Omega, <laughs> this is gonna be weird, but I didn't like Kenny Omega because before I watched him wrestle or knew anything about him, I just knew his name and his look, how he looked, and I just didn't like him because I think his name was like the Sweeper or something at that time, and probably still is, or the Cleaner, I don't know. But I didn't like that nickname, and I didn't like his hair, because I felt like his hair looked like a mop, a mop head, so I just automatically didn't like Kenny Omega. But is he's apparently one of the best wrestlers in the world, so hey, I like him. <laughs> I've seen him wrestle. I've seen some of his matches. I really like him. Uh, so big ups to all of them, mainly Cody and Brandy, right? Because their company, they're the one who, you know. So when they, when they put out um, All In, I had a feeling it was gonna do the 10,000 seat thing, and I thought that they might do another show like a year from then, which it seemed like they did, right? Double or nothing. Uh, I watched the show. I'm gonna watch their show like when it comes on TV weekly. I'm gonna watch that, and I can't wait. Uh, I am just so glad that we have something other than WWE because to be honest right now WWE is Horrible like I've been watching WWE since 2002 watch every single episode of Raw every single episode of Smackdown I started watching every pay-per-view and like after Wrestlemania 26 I think I started watching every pay-per-view so I've seen all those pay-per-views I watch a lot I used to watch a lot of DVDs and stuff like I watched random stuff on the network I even watched Total Divas when even as fake as that show was watch Total Bellas I don't watch it anymore but like I was a big WWE fan like I went to every show that was inside Michigan I bought a lot of t-shirts I still have them to this day I have posters all that type of stuff I watched wrestling every single day like I skipped stuff to watch wrestling I never would have thought that wrestling I would feel like this like when I watch Raw it's like I'm not even watching it. Like, I really, and none of my friends were wrestling fans either. So that's why this is such a big deal to me because I just be watching this 
nobody to talk to with it. I just, I just loved watching WWE and wrestling. But WWE is so horrible right now. It is to me, it's the worst that it's been since I started watching. It's so unrealistic, and just the stuff they do is just horrible. I watched Raw on Monday, and they did not have a wrestling match until like 90 minutes into a three-hour show. They had a match, but it was not a match, if you know what I'm saying. So, like, I'm just so happy that there's an alternative. I started watching TNA inside of, like, um, when Bobby Roode won the title. When Bobby Roode won the World Championship for the first time, that was when I first started watching TNA. So, like, I had learned about who Bobby Roode was, who James Storm was, who AJ Styles was, all that at that time. I started watching Ring of Honor right when Jay Briscoe won the title from, who did he win from? Right when he won the title from Kevin Owens, Kevin Sneed. So that's when I started watching Ring of Honor. I stopped watching Ring of Honor when they merged the titles with him and Jay Lethal. And I really like Jay Lethal. I just I just fell off of Ring of Honor. And I stopped watching TNA. I forgot when I stopped watching TNA. I watched through the Aces and Eights and all that. Who was world champion? I, I watched Magnus. I know Magnus was world champion. MVP came in. I seen that. I think I stopped watching TNA like right when, no, because I saw the Lethal Lockdown with MVP's team versus the TNA team. So I saw him turn, no, he was face at that time. I don't know, but this video is about double or nothing. So let me just get to that. So I watched the show, the Battle Royal. Who was the guy with no legs? Like what? That took me by surprise when I tell you. I was like, what? He ain't got no legs and he's a wrestler. How is this going to work? I've seen a blind wrestler. I've seen a very, very old wrestler. I've seen a huge, like a very, very fat wrestler. I've seen a wrestler with one leg. I don't know if I already said that. I probably did. Uh, like, but I have never seen a wrestler with no legs. No legs. Like, he... But it didn't seem like he did anything, right, inside the match. I'm not tripping when I say that, right? He just did a 619 with, you know, his limbs, his leg limbs, the, the thighs, I guess. That was interesting to see. My camera's about to die, so I have to speed through this now because I talk too much. So, 21-man casino battle row definitely was different. Like, what was, like, they went out by suits? And all that, like, I don't know, I wasn't really a fan of that. I didn't like that. I think they should just have a regular Battle Royale or a regular. I'm looking at the times on Wikipedia. Those can't be the real times. Because they all end in a zero or a five, right? So that can't be right. But anyway, so they came out, out in books. I think they had two different, um, I love the setup, the arena. It looked amazing. I love the commentary, all that. And then they had two different entrances where the heels came out and the faces came out. Hangman Page, oh my god, y'all, when I was watching Ring of Honor, Adam Page was not like this. I'm hearing all this good stuff about Adam Page. When I watched Ring of Honor, Adam Page was a, no, he was such a rookie, such a prospect. Like, he was like, not, like, he was not a main event level at all. So, for me to just come back and see that he was in the Bullet Club, I, I heard that he went to the Bullet Club, and I was like, Adam Page, what in the world? Like, but I didn't see anything of him. I didn't know he was this good. Or I guess I still don't know if he's that good because I haven't seen a match of him. But MJF, I heard a lot about him. He was really good. I liked him. I liked him on this show. But Adam Page won. It was, the Battle Royal was okay. Like, because the eliminations I felt were just so anticlimactic. All of them. Uh, Kip Sabian versus Sammy Guevara. I really liked that match. I really, really was into that match. And I liked it. I was kind of rooting for Sammy the Sammy, but then I was also kind of kind of rooting for Sabian, so I was like, I didn't really care who won. They both were like, I was, after I watched their match, I was so into it on my game. I downloaded, well, I didn't download, but I searched up Kip Sabian, searched up, <laughs> searched up, searched up Sammy Guevara, and I wanted to download them for my video game and play them. <laughs> so yeah, I like that match. That was good. SoCal, and I feel like they got a lot of time and they did a lot of good stuff. I love those dives that um, one of them did. I forgot which one. SoCal Uncensored, I didn't watch TNA or Ring of Honor when they had the Trios Championship. I know that they do have that because I went to a Ring of Honor show. I had no clue what was going on in that Ring of Honor show because it was like not that long ago I went to it and they had a triple championship. But anyway, I was mainly just looking at SoCal Uncensored because that Christopher Downs and Kazarian. 
Love them. They're hilarious. Uh, good match. I love seeing Christopher Daniels hit the Angels' wings for the win. Dr. Britt Baker versus Nyla Rose versus Kylie Ray. I liked this. Brandy Rose came out like a heel authority figure. Like she's Stephanie McMahon or somebody. Oh, I forgot to talk about the um, the promo they did in the beginning of the show. That was good. Loved it. My camera's about to die. I gotta speed through this. Uh, so anyway, she brings out Awesome Kong. I knew she was gonna bring out Awesome Kong as soon as she said Awesome. If anybody else didn't get that hint. I mean, it was pretty obvious. I think. But I heard the Awesome Kong doesn't wrestle anymore, but I don't know. But, good match. I liked it. I really like Britt Baker. I wanted on is that that's Adam Cole's girlfriend, right? I wanted to download her on WWE too, cause I liked her, and she's a real life doctor. Best friends versus Angelico or Angelico and Jack Evans. Same thing. I looked up Ange Angelico because I liked him a lot. I already have Chuck Taylor and Trent as the best friends. I don't know, his name is Beretta. I thought his name was just Trent. Was, anyway, but good match. Love the best friends. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not even about to attempt to name these six women inside this match, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good, but I will say, I hear a lot about Aja Kong, and I wasn't really that impressed inside the match, to be honest. Maybe it was just overhyped, you know how you just expect something really good and you didn't get it? Cody versus Dustin, oh my god, I was not expecting that. A little bit uncomfortable and a little bit grossed out, and I had to turn my head a few times because of all the blood, that looked gross. Cody or Dustin had red face paint, so ugh, it just was gross. It was gross. I love the ending. I love how Cody said he needs Gold Dust to be with him for facing the Young Bucks. That's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to watch that. But yeah, that ugh, it was just so much blood everywhere. It was on the ring, on Cody Rhodes' body, on and then they were hugging and stuff. That was so gross and uncomfortable. Y'all who watch ECW and y'all watching this, y'all are probably like, shut the heck up. Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers. I seen something of the Lucha Brothers. They are my favorite wrestlers that I don't know. Cause I have not, I don't really know them. Or like I haven't watched them on anything really, but every time I've seen I've seen like two matches of them. They are amazing. Like they are amazing. Pentagon Jr. and Ray Phoenix. What? Every single thing. I was hoping they won this match low-key, but Young Bucks won, which was fine. I, I love the video package because it told me exactly what was going on. You know, I just I loved it. Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. I I wasn't really so I didn't think I was that into this match, but I guess I was because I'm looking at the time. It was almost 30 minutes and it flew by. It didn't seem like it was 30 minutes. So I guess I liked the match. But that ending was horrible. That elbow, what? Kenny Omega got lost to that? And the reason why I say this is because I watched, I haven't seen a lot of Kenny Omega, but I have seen two matches of his where they went almost an hour and he kicked out of all types of stuff. But you mean to tell me this little thing right here just put him out? Whatever, I mean the match was fine. The ending was horrible, that's what I'm gonna say. So then, so it's gonna be Chris Jericho versus Adam Page for the title, that's so obvious that Adam Page is winning, right? Because Chris Jericho put out a tweet saying, oh, WWE, like making fun of WWE for pushing Brock Lesnar, but Chris, you just main evented a double or nothing show and you won, which means you're about to fight for the title. Um, if this video cuts off, I'm sorry, y'all, but this just, it's been dying for like 10 minutes now. So then, John Moxley debuts, which was awesome. I'm glad that he's inside of uh, AEW, but I was a little bit confused because how could he leave and go straight to another company? I thought there was like a no compete clause and stuff like that. Oh, but uh, I haven't heard his podcast with Chris Jericho, all that stuff yet. But yeah, oh, I liked it. I like the show. I cannot wait to watch more of this. I hope they come to Michigan or Detroit or yeah. I know that Detroit is in Michigan, but I hope they come to Michigan, but if they come to Detroit, that'd be even better because that's the major city in Michigan, even though I don't live there. Uh, yeah, so that was a great, great show, and big ups, big uh, congratulations to Rhodes, Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes. Y'all are awesome. I, I love this company already just by this pay-per-view. This pay-per-view was better than every single pay-per-view that WWE has put out this year and last year. 
not including the takeover. So, I mean, I'm not jumping shit, but WWE is horrible right now. It actually kind of make me embarrassed. Like, I'll question myself, why am I watching this all the time? I'm just like, this is so horrible. Why am I wasting my time watching this right now? The best thing in WWE right now to me is Becky and Kofi. Becky and Kofi. If those two were not, like even Seth, like he seems to have all this passion and stuff. Like he's wrestling and like wanting to be there. But like, I don't know. Like I just don't have a connection with Seth like I do with Kofi and Be Becky. I feel like they're more, they're the best things in WWE right now. On the main roster, at least, so, you know, whatever. But, I hope this video gets some views, y'all, because I, I like talking about wrestling. I really do, and I don't really have any friends that watch wrestling, so I have to rely on YouTube. But, I don't know. I don't know. These videos never do very well. So, if y'all watch this, please leave a comment and let me know you did. Please share this video with someone else. Please, I really want y'all to watch this. I want to talk wrestling with y'all. Leave comments inside the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video on all foreign social media. Check out the other videos from me. Check out the Patreon link in the info box down below if you want to share. Give any more extra support to me. Click the videos that have just appeared over my shoulders. And until next time, catch y'all later. Pew.